वेलकम डियर फ्रेंड्स वी आर ग्रुप टेन एंड वी आर गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन यू द वॉन ह्यूमन आर्किटेक्चर इन दिस वीडियो सो लेट स्टार्ट फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल हिस्टोरिकली देयर हैव बिन टू टाइप्स ऑफ कंप्यूटर्स दैट इज फिक्स प्रोग्राम कंप्यूटर्स एंड स्टोर्ड प्रोग्राम कंप्यूटर्स सो वॉट आर दिस टाइप्स सो फिक्स प्रोग्राम कंप्यूटर्स फंक्शन देयर फंक्शन इज वेरी स्पेसिफिक एंड दे कूडेंट बी रीप्रोग्रामड that is early computers followed fixed program concept where it is programmed to do only one thing at a time and its example is calculator and then stored program computers can be programmed to carry out many different tasks applications which are stored on them hence the name so basically when computers were only fixed program machines reprogramming was difficult so it has rewired new designs it was similar to rebuilding a machine it was similar like rebuilding a machine so talking about the modern computer modern computers are based on a stored program concept introduced by john von neumann they are designed to execute applications and provide a variety of solutions by combining integrated hardware and software components and in this stored program concept programs and data are stored in a separate storage unit called memories and are treated the same and the first modern computer was at an atonus of berry computer that is abc it was the first modern computer designed so talking about its uh, diagram so here is its diagram which uh, consists consists of arithmetic logic unit control unit memory storage processors accumulators input device output device uh, for which uh, we are going to explain it in the next upcoming slides so let's go for it so the next part comes as the modern computer is also known as the isa computer that is industry standard architecture computer and it is having the three basic units as the central processing unit cpu the main memory unit and the input output devices with which we all are familiar and then next uh, part comes that is the bus design architecture diagram here the Uh, buses are given so basically what is bus bus is just a communication pathway connecting two or more devices and each bus contains number of separate lines and each group of lines are designed with some functions like data address and control so what is pc pc is a program counter which contains address of next instruction pair to be fetched from memory and then ir is instruction register uh, it contains 8 bit op, op code of instruction to be executed then the mar is memory ad address register uh, which specifies address of memory in particular word and then mdr is memory data register which stores the data to be transferred so the next part that is accumulator it holds the Uh, temporarily operands and results of alu operation and then gpr that is general purpose register it is used for storing operands and pointers io bus is pathway used for input and output devices to communicate with computer processor then it comes with control unit and arithmetic arithmetic logic unit which we have seen in the previous diagram so basically control unit is a unit which handles all processor control signals and it directs all input and output flow fetches code for instructions and controls how data moves around the system so basically the control unit gives direction to the processor this is the main function of control unit and arith arithmetic logic unit is that part of cpu that handles all the calculations the cpu may need that is the uh, arithmetic logic unit is a combinational digital circuit which prefers arithmetic as well as bitwise operations heading towards main memory unit in main memory unit registers are the smallest data holding elements 
that are built into the processor itself. It is a quickly accessible location available to a computer's CPU. These are memory locations that may hold an instruction, a storage address or any kind of data such as bit sequence or individual characters. The main registers are accumulator, program counter, memory address register, memory data register, current instruction register and instruction buffer register. Talking about accumulator, accumulator are employed to hold temporary operands and result of ALU operation. Program counter contains the address of next instruction to be fetched from memory. Memory address register specifies the address of memory in the word to be written from or read into MBR which is memory buffer register. Talking about memory data register, memory data register is used for holding information either program word or data word that is in the process of being transferred from the memory to central processor or vice versa. Current instruction register. Current instruction register holds the instruction currently being executed or decoded. Each instruction to be executed is loaded into the instruction register which holds it while it is decoded, prepared and ultimately executed which can take several steps. Instruction buffer register. Instruction buffer register are employed to hold the right hand instruction from the word in memory temporarily. Input output devices. Program or data is read into main memory from the input device or secondary storage under the control of CPU input instruction. Output devices are used to output information from the computer. If some results are evaluated by the computer and it is stored in the computer, then with the help of output devices, we can present them to the user. Hi guys, this is Harshwadhan from Division N Roll number 53. I will be discussing about register. A register is a small high speed memory inside CPU. The CPU contains number of register. Registers are the temporary storage areas for instruction or data. The size of register is in bytes. Bigger size of register increases the performance of CPU. There are different types of register used in architecture. Some of them are MAR, that is memory address register, MDR, memory data register, AC, accumulator, PC, program counter, CIR, that is current instruction register. Now one by one, let us discuss about all of them. MAR, that is memory address register. Memory address register is used to store memory address. When CPU wants to read or write data, in memory. It stores the address of that memory location in this register. Second one is MDR that is memory data register. Memory data register stores the data being transferred to or from memory. It acts as a buffer between the CPU and memory allowing it the CPU to quickly access and manipulate the data without having to constantly retrieve it from memory. The MDR holds the data temporarily until it is needed by the CPU or until it is written back to memory. It also helps to improve the efficiency of memory access by reducing the number of memory cycles required to read or write data. The third one is accumulator, AC. It is used in most arithmetic and logic unit operations and it is typically the register where the result of an operation is stored. The accumulator is also used to hold the operands for the next operation and the result of previous operation can be stored in other register or memory locations. It is often used as a general purpose register as it can hold different values at different times depending on the program execution. Now fourth one is program counter. Uh, program counter is used to store the address of the next instruction to be fetched for execution. When the instruction is fetched, the value of PC is incremented. It now refers to the next instruction. The last one is CIR current instru instruction register or you can call it IR instruction register. IR is used to store the fetched instruction. The instruction is also decoded in this register. Thank you. We are going to learn about buses. So what is bus? A bus is a high speed internal connection. Buses are used to send control signals and data between the processors and other components. So basically, there are three kinds of buses. First one is a data bus, second one is an address bus, and the third one is a control bus. So now we are going to learn about data bus. So data bus carries the data between the processors and other components. The data bus is a bi-directional. 
Second is the address bus. So address bus carries the addresses from the processor to other components such as primary storage and input output devices. The address bus is a unidirectional. The third one comes the control bus. Control bus carries the signal from the processors to other component. The control bus also carries the clock pulses. The control bus is a unidirectional. So thank you.